This fleet is not really synergizing with our tech right now. This, we already have a good centerpiece now. Should have been claimed, yeah. And we can put our uh, ships in here. So I will probably split our fleet up. Oh, we probably should also not forget about this. One, two, three, and it's upgraded. It is a combat factory. And now it's a Mark IV combat factory. So now let's see what ships we want. This thing is a more close range ship with any, well, I wouldn't really call it a brawler that much, but it is very good against large amounts of small enemies. And we should probably capitalize on that. What else is good against large amounts of small enemies? Certainly these here. And parasites will hopefully help us take a lot of damage, or rather prevent a lot of damage. Now, these are also good because we can slow down enemies and keep them close. Same with the mine layer frigates. Cloak viral shredders I can use anywhere. I think I'm going to take these ships. This is also leave the Shrike interceptors and the Vanguard hydras to shield these bigger um, and less self-defended frigates and destroyers. So now fleet one we can remember is going to be our anti-heavy or anti-big fleet and fleet 2 is against strike craft. Let's upgrade this thing. One, two levels for now. We can't hack it even further. So now it has up to 210,600 DPS if it hits all targets with all beams, which is absolutely amazing. Not that it has amazing range or anything, but it is very, very powerful. And our total fleet strength goes up to 215. Which is enough to punch through Tachikawa, I imagine. Also, if these ships are truly against the uh, Chromatic Horror, they should, or at least parts of, part of these ships should be leaving. But it's mostly static defenses anyway. So Fleet 1 is also a very sniper-heavy fleet. Hmm. What should we go after next? We definitely need to push out a bit. We have this area sort of defended because unless walls fall falls with our allies, they should be doing well. I'm actually going to start. Ex put, I'm going to put a civilian base here, I believe, because apparently civilians are not preventing us from, or are not angering the Grey Spire, and this means that we can use them as an extra defensive layer for them. In the take three, I had the Grey Spire near me as well, and their planet was just beset by Hunter. Over 500 strength as we were nearing our three or something like that. And this meant that they were of absolutely no use to us. So I want to put a civilian station here. I'm probably also going... Well, I'm, I'm leaving that here for now. Should we go after the Dark Spire? No. We don't have the strength to go after the Dark Spire yet. I want to get much, much more powerful before they do that. I don't really see much purpose in taking these planets down here, apart from maybe the planet with the Raijin Golem. But there's a good amount of stuff to hack here, and we are sitting on almost 300 hacking points. So I think it might be worth going on a hacking spree down here before we extend our borders any further. We can go on a hacking spree down there, but sooner or later we won't be needing to think about what else we might want to take. I think it would be worth it extending our support here and then taking the next bit of shenanigans, the research expedition on this planet. The research expedition gathers science and hacking points. And it can do so even on planets we don't own, as long as the planets are not occupied by hostiles, which the Grey Spire is not. So we can take the research, e research expedition and gather the almost 60 hacking points and almost 2500 science from here. Uh, this is also boosted because we have adjacency. And then I may or may not take this fleet, but I think I might want this matter converter. Because our economy is in need of improvements and this only has one other wormhole that we would need to defend from. Where is it on this world? It's also fairly far away from the wormhole, so yeah, this could make for a very good location. But that's for later. I think 
for the moment, I'm going to take both our fleets and move them towards Tachikawa, and then it's time to start hacking. Tech-wise, is there anything we want to invest into? I don't feel confident enough to make that choice right now. I want to see what of what ships here we would want to take. Same with this ARS. I, we are not hurting for fleet strength at the moment. So there is no reason for us that I would see at the moment to take all of this out and take these hackable locations right now or hackable uh, um, ship and turret designs right now. And then again, we will need to decide anyway. So let's make that decision before we go on too longer. Let's make that decision. So what would we want from this? Does T, they are decent. Makeshifts, I think they are pretty good. Briar patches we already get with uh, some of our command stations and hailstorms are very good against strikecraft. We are facing one AI that seems to be mostly focused on strikecraft, but the other AI not so much. So I don't think I will want the hailstorm turrets. Bastia are ambush, the makeshifts are raid and subterfuge for the briar patches. Ambush isn't looking too good for us. We have the mine layers, but even from the other things, we don't have much else that we would get in this group. As far as exotic goes, we would be set. Raid, also not that incredible. I mean, if we take this fleet, it would synergize very well. These are a couple of raid ships here, at least the space bombers, and we have more raid stuff somewhere else in the galaxy. Subterfuge-wise, I think subterfuge is the right call for this. Yes, I think subterfuge is the right call. So we would be taking a turret that provides us with only very limited DPS, but a lot of slowing. Potentially useful on a lot of planets, but then again, not that juicy. As far as this goes, what would we go for? Well, we could get more subterfuge here. We also could get disruptive or raid stuff. We have assault frigates for the piercing. And we have scythe wards to protect our centerpieces. It might just be very funny taking these scythe wards and putting even more beams on our spire frigate. Will we rank up mobile forts ever? I usually don't, to be honest. But who knows what this game holds. Stalkers, however, are just very, very nice. I think Stalkers are the right call here. Stalkers and Disruptive or Subterfuge. What do we have for Disruptive? We would also be upgrading all the Pike turrets anyway. But there's nothing else for Disruptive right now in the galaxy. So what would we take for this one here? Melee really doesn't stand out right now. Neither does Splash. Station Keepers is the right call here, I think. Then we have this here. It would be either artillery or piercing. We don't have anything for piercing and for artillery we have Holocene turrets and that's about it. Not really a good role down here. Down here riot control is expatriate so that's an entirely different branch or melee. Melee, I don't see melee in our future to be honest. What techs are these? I think they are all expatriate, right? Yeah. So expatriate is probably something you would want to take. What should we take down here? We have the Lockdown Cruiser for Exotic or the Tempest for Artillery. I think Exotic is looking a lot better. We have a couple of ships here and even civilians have some stuff. So yeah, Exotic is looking like the right call. What would we take here? We have Valkyries, which are already core. So yeah, or Subterfuge. Hmm, interesting. And down here we have space planes, which would be more raid or more melee, even more melee or core. That's probably going to be core. Okay, I think I'm going to take, I'm going to hack a couple of things then. We are going to steal the, I think the scythe wards is probably the, the right call. I'm already putting them on fleet 2. So here's another sapper. Let us speed through this. Borealis is getting a wave, but I'm not worried about that. Alright. Go 
So, what new things do we have? We could get phantasmal hosts, or as I call them, fantastic hosts. They are exotic and they do good damage at infinite range against things with half decent armor. So yeah. Also, when they get damaged enough, they release a couple of decoys that soak up fire. These would be more melee. The mosquitoes also latch onto enemies similar to the pillager. And uh, I think they are a very uh, the, the base variant of the pillager. But they are disruptive. Well, we would actually be going disruptive, probably. These are more melee. But I think the Phantasma hosts are just the best. Which also means I'm going to put a level into Exotic right now. Exotic has a number of very good ship lines. Also, we are hurting on energy. So I will destroy a couple of those. So, and what else is there? Is it worth 27 hacking points? We would have gunbots, a cloaked ship against high armor. And there's a lot of them and they do a lot of DPS. They are very powerful. More mosquitoes or space planes or Gorgon aggregate body frigates that we can put into our fleets. That said, I think the I think the gunbots are just the best. Yeah. They are worth the 27 hacking points and a lot of AI response in hacking strength. Although, I think we can deal with it. Oh, maybe I should actually, while we have the opportunity, let's take a look at the Nova Burst Cruise Missile. It is a missile that does a high amount of damage to enemies in range. And it does bonus damage... Oh, oh no, not bonus damage. It, uh, it paralyzes enemies with 3TX or with less than 3TX mass. Then we also have the shockwaves. They do a fixed amount of damage that splits among, among enemies. Uh, no special effect on those. So we have a bit of paralyzation and a bit of just flat damage to either focus targets or spread out targets. While this thing is only against spread out targets. It's only effective against those. So let's take out this hacking response. Again, with all the civilians here, with our upgraded ships, I'm not too worried. Here comes the first Exo Strike. Now, these ships are just immediately getting paralyzed, so they can't really do much. But we will be facing a couple more. Are they already on their way? I'm not really seeing them on their way right now. They might just come from other angles. Okay, this is here. And since it's only a single battle station with not a lot of strength, it is fine. Which means I'm going to put up a trade post. I'm going to put up this trade post about here, I believe. This way, it has a good angle on the other turrets. Uh, on the other wormholes. Oh, we do not have enough energy. Oops. Oops. Yeah, we will probably need to get into some economic technology sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, let's see. Here it is. 50k for that and 50k or almost 60k for whatever else. You know, let's actually... I don't really expect a lot of things coming from Arden. Let's actually go here. Maybe here so that the enemy has to go through the stealth guard posts. What is the range? Or stealth uh, militia patrol posts. I think this is a good spot. Now we are constructing the new ships we have received and repairing whatever has been damaged. Let's actually check if we want anything in this fleet rather than the other. We can, I believe, take the... Hmm. No, not really. We already put the gunbots in here and we also put the... where are they? Well, the scythe wards are in the other, in the other fleet here. The scythe wards are in here, and the phantasmal hosts are sniping. No, I think this is fine. I think this is already organized enough. 